Hello, it's still December, meaning that we are still here in Winter Wonderland. We got our boy Rudolph over here. Oh, and the nasty babies. Yeah, we don't we don't talk about those. So in the last episode, we managed to get a little brain upgrade and therefore getting one slot in our pack, which we filled with another Rudolph over there. So we're now a pack of two. Now listen, Rudolph is great and all. I mean, Rudolph is the best. He's the best ranger around. You know, he got, he got songs written about him. He's, he's a great dude. But guys, this is a game about evolution and I'm sorry, but Rudolph would never be the dominant species on a planet. He doesn't have opposable thumbs. How would a species of Rudolphs ever have an esports tournament without opposable thumbs? It's impossible. Therefore, he cannot be the dominant species on this planet. But I believe there is a compromise possible. I believe we could perhaps transform Rudolph into a dominant worthy species. I mean, I got some ideas. I believe Leave. I got some tricks up my sleeve. All right, so yes, my idea. I have the best idea. The greatest idea that has ever been had. Now listen, like I said before, the whole problem here is the fact that he doesn't have opposable thumbs. And of course, that issue can of course just be solved by just straightening up his back a little bit. Just like that. There we go. I mean, he's already starting to look like an esports tournament guy. Look at, look, look at that posture. Oh yeah, he's a gamer. I mean, there we go. In theory, we have fixed the problem. We could be done now, but you see, mm, this is not the terror HD way. No, sorry. And what, are we just supposed to release this guy into the wild without a six-pack? What kind of a god would I be if I would not give... <laughs> Can't just be sending him off without a six pack. No, no, we need to give Rudolph the proper treatment. <laughs> I mean, he's already starting to look super ridiculous, man. You gotta trust the process, guys. Trust the process. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry, Rudolph. Oh, well, this is highly unusual for starter game, but uh, we got uh, we got pretty much all the weapons unlocked. Look at that. Okay. Oh, we can make some fancy horns. Yes, baby. Okay. Okay, we're racing everything. We're starting from scratch. All right, how am I gonna make this look good? I could have just made Santa. Why didn't Why didn't I just make Santa? Human thigh. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Human thigh. Let's Let's give R Rudolph the the good old human thigh. There we go. Okay. And then we can maybe just pop a thunder calf on there. This Rudolph needs to have killer thighs, man. He needs to have the biggest thighs the world has ever seen. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe let's turn it down a notch. Although other parts could be... Uh, no, all right, okay, okay. PG-13, right. You know what? Let's just pop a human thigh on there too. You know what? It's, it looks like a very muscleicious body part and I, I like it. There we go. You know what? I, I gotta be honest here, pal. Uh, <laughs> it's just not coming out like I thought it would come out. Oh, man. We got like no parts to actually sculpt this guy. Oh, man. Okay, we can still save it though. I am sure that we can still save it. There we go. I mean that that is just the body of an Olympian right there. I mean, come on. I didn't I didn't even stop at a six pack. I gave the dude an eight pack. If that's not commitment to the Christmas spirit, I don't know what is. I mean, those horns look very weird, but uh, let's see how it looks painted. You know what? It, it kind of looks like a lizard in the face. The whole facial area kind of just looks like a lizard, but you know, it's fine. It's, uh, at least he got thumbs. It looks absolutely ridiculous. Oh, man. You know what? I should become a furry. The furry community would be lucky to have me, I dare say. I'm just looking at those furry ass. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. Save it, exit. I forgot to add a tail. Oh, there we go. We got a pack full of buff Rudolphs. Oh, no. The babies. Oh, the babies are still a monstrosity. Man, look at the babies. They just look like land sharks with giant hands. I completely forgot to 
hide those parts right there. Those are just the coloration parts that I use to color the nose and the chest and all the stuff. I uh, forgot to hide it, and I don't really care enough to go and do it now. <laughs> it's just staying there. Now, this isn't the final upgrade we will be doing here today. Now, this is just a little, little uh, sprinkle on the, on the top of the cheesecake. I don't think that's a saying. I think I just made that up. Now, later in the episode, I will be looking through the suggestions that you guys made in the last video. If you don't remember, I asked you guys in the last episode what we should be making here today. And later today, I shall be choosing one. Anyway. All right, so these guys look pretty weak. But let's check out our combat stats. We got Bite level 5, Charge level 3, and Strike level 2. I don't think we need to go after these weak guys. Does that mean I'm not go- No, that does not mean I'm not going to. I'm definitely still going to. Preying on the weak? <laughs> Yes, please! Alright, last guy. There we go. There we go. This nest is now ours. It's my nest. M mine. Oh, hello. Okay, we got some crocodiles on our- Oh, no. Come on, man. Don't do not do that. Don't stop doing that. The thing that you're doing, I don't like that you're doing it. So stop doing it, please. Thank you. Jeez. The nerve on some people. Or crocodiles. Ooh, although. Hunt for crocodiles. Reward 40 DNA. I mean, we are running quite low on the DNA front. So I might just take them up on that offer. <gasps> we got a baby crocodile. Oh, I want to see it. I just want to pet it. I just want to pet it and kill it. I just want to kill it. There we go. The baby is now dead. Fantastic. Christmas has been saved. The baby is dead. Oh, they killed my friend. They killed my ally. Oh, uh, they're about to kill me. Uh, the roar. Roar. Raging roar. Oh, fear my roar. Goodbye. Oh, God. Oh, the crocodiles are dangerous. Who would have guessed? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't even know what you are. You're a very creepy looking dude. So please don't come near me. Okay. There we go. All right. Okay, we're safe. What is that? Alpha buggy? Oh, it's a cute little critter. Ah, uh, we do want to preserve the cuteness on this planet. I need... Oh, wait a minute. They, they hate us. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> never mind then. I do need to start making more friends on this planet. Oh, oh, I can't eat vegetables. Okay, well, that sucks. All right, we need another Rudolph in our pack. Hello, Rudolph. I am Rudolph. Wanna be Rudolphs together? Yes, one should never Rudolph alone. We are so powerful that we have now become a verb. Now, these guys are extremely cute, but they hate us. Listen, we represent the holiday spirit. And if they hate us, well, gosh darn it, they hate Christmas. They hate Hanukkah. They hate Kwanzaa. They hate the whole shebang. And that's, that's just, that's just not gonna fly with us. That's just... She's not gonna fly with us. Oh, no. No, we're, we're going for the baby. We're definitely going for the baby. Yep, there we go. Dead baby. Yeah. How's that for a Christmas present, mother f Okay, okay. Maybe I, I should perhaps calm down just a little bit. But I mean, come on. They started it. All right, where's the baby at? Was this the baby? We need baby blood to fuel the Christmas spirit. This is the secret of Christmas. The secret that can never be told to the public. What do you think? Why do you think Rudolph's nose is so red? It's the blood of the innocent. That's, that's how they fly. That's that's the whole secret behind the Christmas magic. Baby death. That's canon. Now, Christmas canon. Oh, hello. Ooh. Oh. These guys look... Uh, oh. Oh, I was going to say that these guys look really cool, but then I took one... One look at the baby. C baby, could you stay still so I can show the audience? Did someone give that baby Adderall? He's too young, guys. He's too young. All right. Let me, let me put him out of his misery. Ah, but I, I do need to make more friends. All right. Okay. Let's just make friends with the baby. May maybe he got some extra Adderall for us. Oh, they don't want to become our friends. I mean, they honestly aren't really giving me much of a choice here. I mean, obviously, they have to die, right? They don't want to become my friends, so I'm going to kill their baby. I think that's a uh, proper punishment. Come here. There we go. There we go. All right, the punishment has been served. Let's go. Oh, oh, my my friend is dead now. All right, I guess I'm leaving alone. Hello, I'm back. All right, so the adult Rudolphs have not been serving me well. This time, we are bringing the baby with us. I mean, they gotta start somewhere, right? There you go. Come on, baby. Let, let's go get murdered. It's a family tradition. <gasps> they have an egg. Oh, I do believe that's an egg right there. All right, okay. So these guys hate me. So this is quite dangerous. I just want the egg, guys. I just want the egg. Please, just... I haven't eaten breakfast. Please, just let me have the egg. Just let me have the egg, please. Yes, there we go. We got the egg. We got the egg. Run, run. Oh, God. Oh, God. R raging roar. Do the thing. Do the stuff. R roar. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now, where's my friend? Did they kill my friend again? Please. <laughs> we got three HP. Please, just run away. Oh, and he's gonna die. Yep, he's dead. All right, cool. Oh, we're back at the crocodile's nest. Yeah, let's... Man, this is not going great. This is not going great at all. Stop that. 
No, oh, we're migrating now. I guess we're migrating to a different nest. Oh, we got a couple of spaceships over here. I mean, guess that's kind of festive, right? No? Well, I say it is. I think spaceships are incredibly festive. Probably somewhere for somebody. Let's see if they'll become our friends. Oh, okay. Yeah, I told you. These spaceships totally got the Christmas bear. There we go. This might become our first allies. Oh, there we go. All right, they're in the blue. We only need one more. Let's get the baby. All right, there we go. We got our first ally. Didn't really think our first ally would be a pack of spaceships, but uh, an ally is an ally. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I guess we're actually neighbors, too. Our new nest is right here. All right, cool. We got a new nest. Now, of course, we gotta clear all of these bones. I mean, we can't have our enemies know that we're a bunch of bloodthirsty animals. Now, that has to be a secret. All right, there we go. That was the last bone. Now, let's get the f*** out of here because these guys are making noises. That oh, that guy got some moves. I hate the way that these reindeer sound, man. What is this? The Conchuma. Oh, those are these scary looking dudes. It's talked to us before. Let's see. Do they have any babies? Oh, you know what? They actually look kind of cool. Oh, but they're attacking me, so they have to die. Oh, oh, look at that. Another big brain upgrade. Look at us, Mr. Big Brain. More brain power. Another step towards sentience. Your brain is larger. Your stats are grander. Your pack now is room for two. Oh, goody, goody. All right, okay, we need to go get another pack member then. Since we now got room for two. Let's see here, is there an alpha one? Yes, we got alpha Rudolph right over there. All right, there we go. We are now a pack of three. But listen, like I said before, this was never intended to be our final form. No, this was just a little, little layover, if you, if you will. I believe now that we got a new nest, we got a new brain... Hey, new nest, new me. So let's take a quick little look-see into the previous video's comments. Okay, I'm reading over the comments on uh, the previous video now. I don't really know what I expected, but yeah, pretty much everybody wants to see Santa Claus. I was going to save that for later, but here's my plan. Okay, we got a plan. All right, so fine. I'll make, I'll make your Santa Claus, but it shall not be the final version of the Santa Claus. No, we'll make the traditional kind. The traditional out of shape Santa Claus. Oh, just to be curious, I want to see if this was actually a good reindeer face, and I think the only way to see that is to see it in the normal state. You know what? I don't think that was a bad reindeer face. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Wow, the body is completely messed up. You know what? I was going to delete it anyway. All right, so I have now stripped all of the parts of our Rudolph, except for those things little coloration pieces right there in the back. We got dark red, we got white, we got black, and we got a very vivid red. So those are the colors that we can use for the suit. Now, I don't think I've ever made a fatty in Spore. <laughs> I've never made this body type in Spore before. I don't know how to do it. All right, so it doesn't matter which mouth we use because it's going to be covered by the beard anyway. So let's see which mouth is the best possible mouth for us. I mean, we got the Bite 5, Charge 3, and Sing 4 mouth. That's a very good mouth, but uh, I, I think it's gonna... I think it might stick out of the beard just a little bit. Let's see how small can we make it. Eh, we could make it quite small, but it's still very pointy. So that's a no on that mouth. All right, let's just go for the normal shortened snout. The shortened snout. Ah, the shortened snout. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a very bad German accent. Right. Sorry to all the Germans out there. Shortened snout. <laughs> All right, let's see. How should the feet look? Where, where are they supposed to be placed? Where on the belly should you place the legs? Like, these are the... Qu How do you make a large person? What is even the proper word to use nowadays? I've just avoided the topic altogether. <laughs> I don't know which word to use. Large? Uh, gravitationally challenged? I, I don't know. <laughs> That's great. Fantastic. You know what? I, I believe it should be larger. Yes. Big belly. All right. Let's see what we can do here.
so there we have our Santa Claus, man. Oh, what a cheerful little guy. You know what? I... <laughs> okay, listen. It's not my best creation, but I will say it is not my worst. I definitely don't think it's my worst. All right, so here is my question for you guys. The question that I shall leave you guys with for today. We got Santa, right? We got this. We got this jolly old, very nice looking Santa Claus. Here's my question. Now, usually I ask you guys what I shall be making in the next episode, but this time we shall not be giving that power to you. Not, no, 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 not entirely, no. This time you have to decide how should we change this Santa Claus? I mean, we could go so many different directions. We could make him buff like we usually do. We could give him a giant mouth with a hundred teeth and blood inside of it. Or we could try to make him into a dragon. I don't, I don't know. That's pretty much the only two ideas that I ever have is make him very strong or add a lot of teeth. That's how far my creativity goes. So I hope you guys are a little bit more creative than I am. Anyway, guys. So yeah, there we have our Santa Claus. I cannot wait to read you guys' comments and all these suggestions on how we should change him. Because right now, sure, it's, it's, it's Santa Claus. He looks, uh, looks very jolly, very friendly. You know, it's whatever. But I really think that... Oh my god, it looks... Why does it look so weird to see a bunch of Santas there? It looks like a bunch of mall Santas. You know, those those Santas that come to the mall. You, you know what I mean. <laughs> what is this? The, the mall Santa try-offs? <laughs> this is the weirdest freaking sight I have ever seen in Spore, man. Oh, man. But yeah, what I was trying to say is... Sure, okay, we got Santa looking all jolly, all good and all stuff things but it's missing that extra little spice there's nothing really special about this santa we want to make him special but i will admit seeing a nest full of santas that's that's a sight to behold truly truly indeed anyway guys this is where i'm going to be wrapping up the episode for today we have made two oh look at that another santa is coming we have made two very weird looking creatures today and in the next episode hopefully we will be able to <laughs> To pimp this Santa out to its maximum potential. Whatever potential that might be. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did. And I will see all of you beautiful faces in the next episode. Have a good one, guys.